so it is alicia welcome back to my youtube channel um i'm vlogging this week so basically today is tuesday the 21st of july i just came back from spanish town i went to get my quarantine release form so i'm officially done with quarantine i don't have coronavirus i'm good i'm gucci i can touch streets i can go out and have fun so that's great um i really don't have a lot to talk about today but my plans are tomorrow I'm going back to Spanish Town. I need to get a chest of drawers and I need to get some stuff for my bedroom and for myself. I'm also planning on sleeping over at my boyfriend's house tomorrow. So that should be good. Um, I pulled the plaits out of my hair finally and I did an afro. Gonna have to fix this up tomorrow and do like a puff or something. Because my hair looks a hot ass mess right now. But yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm quarantine free. I'm no longer in quarantine. I can go out now. I can have fun. I really, really want to go to the beach this weekend, but we'll see how that goes. I am super excited. Like, I'm so excited to be out of quarantine. Um, Like, baby. Like, I just want to go outside, be with my family, just be with everyone, honestly. Like, sit down, talk, drink some alcohol. Like, I just want to be... Free. I just want to have fun, but yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that I also did my cousin's nails and toes yesterday So I'm gonna insert a picture of her nails and her toes um, So yeah, I decided to do five persons nails and toes free and um, Then <laughs> Everyone else I'll charge like a small fee because I do have to buy back these stuff like they ain't free i didn't get them free so and some people want like extra shit like all these gems and stuff the color acrylic is really expensive so yeah a small fee probably 300 dollars or something which is cheap it's dumb cheap because you're paying 800 dollars to do your toes in spanish town and over 2500 to do your fingernails so it's dumb cheap but yeah i just wanted to let you guys know that i'll see you guys tomorrow or something when i get my chest of drawers and everything else that i'll be showing you guys tomorrow maybe i'll do a haul or something but peace out until then guys love y'all
guys so today is monday it is raining so i'm in my bedroom alone it is raining but it's sunny outside so the lighting is good but i wanted to show you guys what i got from town the last couple of days since i've been off quarantine i've been going shopping like crazy i've been spending a lot which is not good because i'm gonna be here for a really really long time and i'm gonna need a lot of money but before we start i want to show you guys my hair i did get my hair done my cousin is a hairdresser, so she did my hair for me, so I got braids. Um, I'm going to put a picture to the side of what the back looks like, but I got them in yellow and green, but black, so basically Jamaica color. My room is a hot ice mess, so don't mind that, but I'm going to go around, show you guys my furniture, show you guys what I got, all of that, um, in the last couple of days, basically, and tell you guys where I got them and the price I paid for it, so... Let's begin. I'm going to start off with this chest. I got this from Bashko and I paid $12,500 for it and $1,000 to assemble it. So that was $13,500 Jamaican dollars for this bedside chest. I just use it as a bedside table because I wanted to get a bedside table but they're too expensive. So I just got this instead. It has four drawers that I can put anything in. So yeah. I got this rug in a wholesale in Spanish Town, so this rug was 2000 Jamaican dollars. Um, I wanted to get pink to match my room, but couldn't find pink. The pink was ugly to me, so I got the purple instead. And I got this shoe stand right here, this bamboo shoe stand for 2500 I think, in Bashko also. And I had to pay a little fee to assemble it. I also got this chest of drawer for $30,000 in a furniture, furniture store in Spanish Town Plaza. So this chest of drawer. Um, so I think that's everything I bought in the last couple of days. Today I did go back to town and I got this mirror. This vanity mirror. I brought one but I bought a new one. This one is clear. So it is clear, um, really cute, two side mirror, it was 250 Jamaican dollars, so like a dollar US. Um, and then I just got some extra bathing rags, some suffragen in a milk. So as you guys can see, that's really all that I got from town. I didn't get a lot today because I've been spending like crazy in the last couple of days. Um, I really don't want to go broke. so. <laughs> I have to be mindful of what I'm spending. I also have to pick up my barrels in the next couple of weeks, so I need to save money for that. I've been putting money aside to pick my barrels up, so that's good. Also, I've been practicing on toenails, so I'm going to insert a couple of pictures of the toenails that I already did. Um, so yeah, I've been practicing on toenails with acrylic. Um, one more thing, my barrel, obviously it's not here, and my machine to print my shirt and all of that is in my barrel. So. I can't start printing my shirts to make money off those so I just have to wait um, so yeah that's all the update that I have for today I'll see you guys in the next couple of days or tomorrow or something if I have anything new to say or anything like that oh I forgot to mention in the last video or vlog that I made I mentioned that I needed to go to JPS and now I can see why a lot of people bridge light in Jamaica because honestly JPS is just so much work to get your light straight. It's ridiculous. You might as well bridge it um, So I went to JPS. It was a whole lot of mess. So we left because obviously we didn't get through um, Customer service obviously is terrible. I hate The baby's crying and babysitting I hate the customer service in Jamaica, especially for the government businesses it's ridiculous like why do you have to wait so long like why do I have to wake up five o'clock in the morning so I can get to the business place before it opens just to not get through until like one two o'clock in the afternoon like it makes no sense the baby's crying I'm gonna go because the baby's crying and I'm only ranting so hopefully you guys can hear what I've been saying oh I forgot to mention that that mirror behind of me I also got that at Bashko so anyways I'll see y'all later Yesterday I was cutting chicken and I almost cut my finger off. Um, I wasn't holding the knife and the chicken properly because we left. Well, the cutting boards are in my barrel and my barrels aren't here yet. So I was trying to cut it and I almost sliced my finger off. <laughs> so um, it hurts. Like it's still hurting real bad. Um. So I'm in bed. <laughs>
I'm in bed. I'm basically in bed. I have nothing to do. My mom and my cousin and my aunt went to town. I'm here with my stepdad, but he's in the living room watching some shit. And I'm in my bedroom watching some stuff. Um, the workers are outside because there's little, little things left to do on the house. So they're finishing that up so they can go. Um, but yeah, it is Tuesday. I don't even know what day in July it is, honestly. I don't know at this point. At this point, I don't know. I have to fry some chicken tonight, so I might record myself frying some chicken. But we'll see. Um, I was cooking soup the other day. I'm going to show you guys like a little clip of the soup. But it, it the clip is before I put the cock soup in, so obviously the soup has no color. After I finished cooking the soup, I forgot to record the finished product like after I, I finished cooking, I just started sharing soup for everyone, so I forgot to press record and show you guys what it looked like. But it was the best soup I've ever cooked in my life. Like, it tasted so bomb. It was so good. And I'm not just saying that because I cooked it, but everyone I gave told me it was good. So, period, sis. Anywho, I'm going to go back to watching YouTube. I'll see you guys later. So, peace out until then. So, I'm making soup. Um, I'm about to put the cock soup in it right now, but when I put a cock soup in, I'll show you guys what it looks like. So, I'm about to go fry the chicken right now. I guess my stepdad is in their bedroom, so I'm the only one up here. We're using the upstairs kitchen for right now, but when the downstairs kitchen is complete, like fully complete, we won't be cooking up here. But we do have a microwave and just small stuff. But I'm gonna fry the chicken up here. Um, the pot is in the oven because I made fried chicken a couple days ago, so I saved the oil because that's a lot of oil and baby. We don't got money to be wasting oil like that but the chicken is already seasoned i just need to like put it in the flour put some uh what do you call that red seasoning i forgot but put some of that egg powder i think and uh fry it up so we finna begin So, um, obviously not a lot of the chicken burns came out of the pot, but since I'm going to refry chicken in it anyway, I don't care. But I tried to wash it as clean as I could. Um, so I'm just going to light the stove and let it warm up because it is a cast iron pot and it takes a while to get hot. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So, I'm about to show you guys what the outside of the house looks like. Um, they started shower line in it. I don't know the correct term, but they started to do that. So, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. Um, so, yeah. I'm also going to end this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up, comments, and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. I'll be vlogging next week, I guess. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys next time in my next vlog. Also, the Wi-Fi is super duper slow, so that's why the vlogs like get posted slowly. <laughs> like I only can post one time per week because the Wi-Fi is slow. So yeah. <laughs>